Going right into this. Welcome, everyone. This is Real Wolverine's cast. I am your host, Matrix Lloyd 2 and 2, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Yeah, hello. All right, so we're at the Real Wolverine's cast. There's a lot to talk about. Um, and here's the thing, and I, I don't want to try to be negative, but we have to talk about the negativity here and there. There is a group out there that exists. Okay? Can't tell them what to do. I think they're doing the wrong thing. Okay? We know Noel is leading the group. Okay? We've got Philip Morris, part of that. There's a whole bunch of others. What's happening is a lie is created, okay? What's even worse now is that they're in cahoots with comic book companies. Oh, no. Or sites. So, they're, they're, so when they do a story, all the people in the group replicate the story, and they flood Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and all sorts of social media, right? And then you get the comic book company that's doing stuff on their site to try to make it like it's legit. Then you got friends of his that are working for the shitty entertainment news comp sites yeah. that you don't know if it's true or not. There have been people that have been freelance writing for We Got This Covered. They've been freelance writing for Screen Rant. They've been screenwriting for Giant Freaking Robot, which back in the day, Giant Freaking Robot was great. Yeah. Now anybody could be in this. So what they're doing is they're they're doing stuff that's controversial that he talks about, and they put him in the article like he's somebody, which he's not, right? The stuff that he talks about, we talked about already. We already a while ago talked about the story of mm -hmm. them trying to stop, wondering if they should take the police out of the police box and change the TARDIS form. And we already debunked that already a long time ago that they're not going to do that, okay? He's picking up old stories like he's bringing it to the table and he's covering old shit and trying to make it new. The, the problem with this is there, there's a thing called journalism, like us, promote, or us talking about the news and giving you the news and the source, right? His news is not that way. He is biased and one-sided. He doesn't like Jody Whitaker. He hates Jody Whitaker. Okay. He hates Chris Chimno. Now, I don't like Chris Chimno either, but I'm not going to change the news yeah, to fit my to narrative. Yeah. The news is the news, even if I agree with it or not. But he doesn't do it that way. He will pull any article out of mothballs and try to get negativity towards the story. You there, Scott? You there, Scott? I lost Scott. Hello, Scott? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, I lost you. Okay, so he tries to bring negativity to the story, okay? Let me give an example. He kept saying that the special was coming out Christmas. It's not. He kept saying no, that Jody's not. regenerating Christmas. She's not. He kept saying that Captain Jack was thrown in there. He wasn't. Here's the thing. We we covered this, and I remember I, we did a cast, and I, I, I was He blew him in the face. Yeah, and I kept saying Captain Jack's coming back. And remember people in our own cast saying, no, he's not? Remember Beefhead saying, no, he's not? And guess yeah. what? He was in Series 12. He lied. At, at, like, Captain Jack lied. You know, he, he was really in Series 12. And he it was in the special. And we covered that over a year ago. I had the thumbnail telling you that in Revolution of the Daleks, before we even had the title Revolution of the Daleks, that Captain Jack was going to be in. Out of the thumbnail, the timestamp, done. So... He created a fake story that Captain Jack was rushed into Fugitive of the Dune and that he's rushed into the special and that Jody's rating is so big. First of all, the ratings didn't exist because Series 12 and Revolution of Dogs were filmed at the same time. So you can't say, oh, because the, the ratings were down during Series 12, this is why they that's, did the special. They did it together. There was no ratings. They did it together. So you can't say that. And it's, like, it's like uh, them trying to say, oh, the Mandalorian did better over than Doctor Who over in the UK when in reality... It wasn't even in the UK. Yeah, right? I know. So, so he's lying. There's blatant lying going on. And, and every, every attempt he has, he fails. Now, he has people on, but then when he's done with people, he uses people, he kicks them out, and they're like, coming to me, they're like, oh, my God, 
this one he dumped me this I, why is he doing this why is he and so then you, and then you pretty much look at him and go i told you so but that i mean this is the thing that this is the way noel is so the whole thing is that he is he attacks people though he and does. then he and then they he they does. retaliate and then he makes it like he's going to get you off Twitter and YouTube and everything else. And he pinned a tweet oh, on me. So bring it on, bitch. Right. He pinned a tweet on me nine pages when we were friends trying to discredit me as covering the news, tried to rip me apart. And you don't get away with that. And we even had a peace treaty that he broke. So the thing is, recently he did a live stream. Now, he said it on his live stream that he's not allowed to do it. Okay. He said it in the live stream. He says, me doing this going to get my channel taken down so he said i'm going to move this over to my secondary channel the irish geek or whatever right he basically revealed real names of people he mentioned me Dobson, basically he class. said he wanted people to come to me to take me off youtube and twitter and destroy me okay basically sending hate to my doorstep basically sending an army to my doorstep right saying dislike him. He's saying this on the air. He knows he's not allowed to do it. So right before people could flag his channel down, he moves it to the shitty secondary channel or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But fuck you, dude. You're not allowed to do that, right? So he thinks he's getting away with all this stuff, and he thinks he's powerful. This is the problem. He thinks who the fuck he is, he thinks he's powerful, that he's got a comic book company, he's got this guy religion this this all these people promoting yeah. his bullshit and the thing is that every he, he there was a thing spread about where's jody well you're not going to see jody if it's a fucking closed set right common fucking sense right and then the moment they film well, on the this, street this, this just in joe uh this just in Dun. yeah yeah exactly fucking duh so the moment they're on the street guess who's there fucking jody and they're like, oops, there she is. Assholes. One more time, education-wise. You have a fucking closed set. What does mm -hmm. that mean? That means you can't be there. You can't see what's going on behind in the studio. So you have no idea who's in there. So, of course, you're not going to see Jody because you're not supposed to see anything. They don't want you to see anything. It's closed. But the moment it's open, guess who's there? The star of the show. Now, he created a false narrative. He said, oh, my God, she's crying on set. She's upset. She's leaving Doctor Who, right? Yeah, she's crying on set because she has to say goodbye to Bradley Walsh and Tosin Cole because she's mm -hmm. not filming with them no more. She had to say goodbye to them. That's why she's crying on set. So he kind of twisted the truth and made bullshit out of it, okay? Yep, once again. Then we and have... That's, that's all he knows how to do is, is he knows how to twist it just right and because people trust him so much, they're going to buy it. But then he's telling them what they want to hear. Yeah. And it's not happening. Now, there was also the fake narrative that they made this whole story up that Jodie Whittaker's agent wants her gone and leave Doctor Who. Completely bullshit, people. Bullshit. Completely bullshit that got replicated by his whole group, got replicated replicated by that comic book organization, got replicated by We Got This Covered, got replicated by all this. Then other YouTubers that are big, okay, are not knowing of the whole story. And they're only seeing so so you have big YouTubers that are making videos on this bullshit, mm -hmm. not knowing. So what happened was they would make, they were mocking Jody. They were dogging Jody. They were dogging this writer's scripts, okay, from Doctor Who, right? I'm not going to mention names, right? So he called them out on it. Basically, he told them, you know, hey, Jody's here. Too bad. Fuck off in so many words, right? Yeah. They said, oh, we can't have this. Let's get him fired from the BBC for Doctor Who. What happened was these big YouTubers are covering it, but they're not covering it that these fucking idiots are harassing the writers and fucking goading them into a fight. They're promoting it as the writer should know better because he signed a contract. Oh, so, oh, but, no, no, here, 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 in other words, what it is, we've got these cancel culture right. 
bullies going after the yes. same individual. Because they want Jody them. gone. They want the writers gone. They want Chibnall gone. So they're trying to fucking do underhanded bullshit stuff. So now you have big YouTubers that are don't know, not part of the Whovian community. So they don't know what the real thing going on is. And they're covering it as news because it is news. But wrongfully, not 100%, because they don't know that these people were harassing the writer over and over and over again, and Jody and Chim. Eventually, you should be allowed to say, fuck off. Yeah. Because that's what they're doing. They're no good. Do and, you know which YouTubers those were? Yes, but I don't want to. I don't want to oh. mention them on here okay. out of respect. Here, so, send me a send me a Facebook. I, w- I will. Some someone that Chris you know watches all the time, uh, and you know. So I, I, I'll I'll definitely send them to you. But it get, makes me sick that they don't know the overall story of what yeah. what these group is doing, and they covered it half the news. And the thing is, look, this group is so diabolical, so evil. They, they, they basically let someone who liked Doctor into the, liked Jody into the group, but then when they were done with her, they cast her out. Now these are kids, you know, maybe they're 18, maybe they're 17, whatever, yeah. and they have never been part of a big group before. Now you're traumatizing them, giving them panic attacks, and you kick them out of something they would join being part of, and that's fucked up and that's wrong. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of craziness going on in the Whovian community, and I contacted my source. I'm like, do you believe this shit? And my source is like, listen, you know, you don't even need to talk to me about it. You know it's a lie. You know they're lying. You know it's bullshit. I told you Jody's staying. I told you Jody got a contract extension. They're just jealous. And they're going to keep doing it until they can try to convince somebody to quit or whatever. Not going to happen. So here's the thing. Whether you like Jody or not, she's staying. Okay? She's filming Series 13. That group is full of crap. Okay? She's not leaving at all. You're going to see her for fucking years. So, to, they're, they're, look, here's the thing. If you don't like her as a doctor, that's fine. Yeah, fine. I mean, we all but don't her. believe this asshole that's telling you everything you want to hear because he stopped the lie unsubscribe. The, the things that they're doing for subs and views, and I'm not jealous of liars and assholes. I'm, I'm mad that they're abusing the system with clickbait and fake shit to try to get popular. And I said, you know what? You made it very personal with me because you tried to take me out of the equation by trying to destroy my income on my books, which is a big fucking no-no. So I'm going to handle it. Like I'm going to, I'm going to pay attention more and handle it in an unexpected way. And that's coming. And I will make a video on that, how I'm going to deal with the, them. Okay. Cause again, it's a whole group, a hate yeah. mob. They've become a hate mob. Now, I love watching Ballstrek and I love watching Nerd Roddick and I hope that they have common sense to see what's going on, but I'm not going to get involved with them and I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to watch their stuff and everything, but I'm not going to bother them about it. Yeah. But common sense, there's a lot of evil stuff going on and I think that they should stay clear, but I can't say anything. But anyway, um, it's horrible. Them, they tur- they, they're, I mean, we've even had Lee was going bashing BBC on Twitter on his secondary account because he got banned on Twitter, telling them that things were wrong. I mean, they are literally vicious, diabolical. They are really doing everything because they, they, what's happening is they're lo- they're losing. Regardless that he, that Noel probably got a lot of subscribers from this bullshit. They're losing because the, eventually what's going to happen is nothing that they have is going to be true. They're all going to be exposed, right? It's starting to be ready and they're panicking because they're like, oh, shit, we've been saying over and over and over there's a secret regeneration that Jody's done and she's not leaving. So now we fucking look like liars. Yeah, you are liars, okay? So, so please, when we do the news, and I've had people harass me, and now I know they're from the old camp, so I block them. Because I don't even need to talk to them because they're trolls. They're yeah. trolls. They're dislike. If you're going to dislike 21 things on the donut lesson, you're a troll. And even, even every video I do, you dislike. And you know what? That is from Noel's camp. But then he cries foul if people do it to him. It's oh, not yeah, fair. He, he went after this guy and he's like, oh, he's wrong. He can't have a second account. 
when his own fucking wingman got banned from Twitter and a second fucking account, the Golden Palace of Zoo, that he went after every fucking hoovy in there is. See, they, the whole thing is like Noel and his group, they're bunch, Noel is a fucking hypocrite because only he could break the rules and only he could do the things that no one else can. And that's not, that's not, he, he basically admitted he's a liar in the site. And even on things, he made up that there's another doctor, this woman that he's trying to pass off. He's making his own stories, his own news. He's a source. He's the source. My ass, your source. So this is, this is damaging to the Whovian community. It is flooding. It is the Whovian Inquirer, basically. And we don't need that in the Whovian community. We don't need fake stuff. Oh, don't no. put that stuff out there. You're making it. So, so what happens is people that are Whovians but not like fully invested like we are don't know about this and they believe this bullshit. And then when it blows up in their face, they're upset about it. But they're believing this asshole, this liar. He's a fucking liar. And he's got people so warped that he's such a good person. He's not. He's not. He he is friggin' he had done videos trying to destroy me by and making it like he knows it's not allowed to send hatred and trolls and people to my doorstep like on YouTube. Telling them take down my channel, telling them to stop getting my books, telling them he revealed my last name. Not allowed to do that. I mean, it's one thing if I say it, but it's not, not a lot of people know my last name, but he basically did that. He basically did that to the people who's mad at. Yeah, basically. you're not allowed to do that on YouTube. It's against YouTube's terms and standards. You can't mention the last name. So he's done it, and he knew he did wrong, guys. That he even said it in that stream he did wrong. So he moved it to his secondary channel, The Irish Keeper, because he's trying to destroy people. But then, God forbid, somebody goes after him. He's like, I'm a victim. Oh, my God. They're trying to hurt me. Yeah. They're trying to hurt my family. No, you've been cursing people out and threatening people. And they're responding. And that's what's happening. Now, I don't condone anything to happen to him. You know, and I'm, I don't condone any of my people to do anything to him. All I'm saying is, why would you want to follow a loser and a liar like that person? And I have to say it because it, there has to be some responsibility in the Uber community. And I don't care. This yeah. is the thing. This person's really using people, and he's trying. He's trying to destroy my favorite show. This channel started was mostly about Doctor Who. Ninety percent of it. Remember, ninety yes, percent. Of it. You're trying to destroy something I love, and I can't allow that. Can't. It's a battle. It's a war. It's a thing. Not going to allow it. So th this whole thing is going to come to an end legally with this whole harassment and stuff and trying to destroy people because you're not going to be able to do it anymore. YouTube is not going to allow this. They're going to get privy to your actions. And that's the end of it. So just stop the hate. That's all I'm saying. Just stop. Stop mentioning people. Do your shit and stop mentioning people. Stop thinking. You're not. Here's the thing, right? YouTube is a big enough place for everybody. Many have tried and everyone has failed. You're not going to get me off here. You're not. So I don't, you keep doing it. You keep trying. You're not going to do it. 10,000 videos. You try, I will multiply everywhere. You will not, you, right, Scott? He pisses mm -hmm. me off. I'll do like a thousand videos in like two, three months. Like all over the place. Do it. I will. will do it. You, you are not do doing it. a damn thing. So. And if I have to, I'll spend some money. And then, then it's really going to happen some problems that I will I will bust my ass to make money like crazy to stop this if I had to legally all right on that note we also have stuff in Doctor Who we have the Dalek um, animated series now I don't know if you saw that yet no, but not yet I I missed I think an episode or two we're gonna review that together it's only yeah, well, I don't even know how much how long it's like half hour game. Whatever. We're gonna watch it. It's free on YouTube. We get to watch it. So um going forward, real means cast, we're gonna get all people back. You know, soon. Been talking to Vaughn, been talking to Chris, been talking to Sally, you know, talking to Susie. We're gonna get the gang back together. 
Real Who Wins are going to be doing the Real Who Wins cast, the Everything Show, all this stuff, back to full strength. Never was really, it was just a pandemic we're going through, but we're getting the gang back together. And I'm going to have to take a serious role in the Whovian community, more serious than ever before, to make sure that things are okay. People are allowed to talk, but people are not allowed to hate. And that's no, the whole not. point. That's the whole point, guys. You're not allowed to try to destroy somebody. You're allowed, you're allowed to exist. You're allowed to do your theories, you do whatever, but you're not allowed to grit it, get an army to destroy people's personal lives. That has nothing to do with YouTube. Yep. Nothing, right, Scott? Cross on the line. It has nothing to do with YouTube. It has nothing to do with little social media stuff. When you go out there and you try to destroy a person that has nothing to do with this, their personal income, you made a huge mistake. That's it. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye for now.